Apple is introducing infinitely customizable emojis. Will that make our text messages more fun or more confusing? One of the many, many features that Apple announced this week under the broad umbrella of Apple intelligence is something it calls Genmoji. Genmoji will be available in iOS 18, and as the name suggests, there are emojis created by generative AI. You can type a description of what you want the emoji to show, like fast talking tech blogger, then Apple intelligence will generate different options, which you can send as images, or you can use them as stickers or tapbacks. You can even get more personal by using photos of friends and family to create Genmoji that look like them. These aren't completely new ideas. Bitmoji have already popularized the idea of creating emojis that look like you, and messaging apps like WhatsApp already allow you to type in a description and get a custom sticker created through generative AI. Apple is really mainstreaming the idea of fully customizable images in chat. And this is just one of a number of different image generation tools that Apple says is rolling out. So don't be surprised if family members who have never uttered the words generative AI start asking you for help in creating custom images. But are people really gonna embrace these tools? My suspicion is that at first, you're definitely gonna see a lot of experimentation, a lot of wild looking images, but over time, people are gonna go back to the tried and true familiar looking emojis. That's what I've noticed in my own group chats where generative AI stickers have already been available. I mean, I think there's something fun about the limitations in a preset group of emojis. I'm told it can be fun to receive an eggplant emoji or a peach emoji, and I think that's a lot more playful than something more direct. That's kind of a silly example, but it illustrates the creativity and fun that can come from constraints and limitations. And remember, a lot of the time when we use emojis, we're in a hurry and don't have the time to find the right words to say. They give us a common language where if we use a smiley or a winky emoji, we can be pretty confident that we're gonna be understood. It's a very different experience if you send an image to the chat and everyone is just like, what is that? And they're wondering what emotion you're trying to convey, or what prompt you put in. That creativity and that shared language can be lost if you throw open the doors and anything is possible. I realize I'm probably a little old fashioned. I mean, I still use yellow emojis instead of trying to find the right skin tone to match mine. And I'm definitely not saying that your emoji are gonna flop or that you shouldn't use them. I'm just saying, don't forget the humble thumbs up sign. I'll see you tomorrow.